Hello, I'm going to go ahead and get in here so we can make sure that everything is working. I think I've got the screen up, that should be working. I just need to remember to turn the music off once it starts and it should switch over the audio. Um, how are you guys today? Hey, Fairy, Claire, uh, is it Laura, Lyra, Elizabeth, Matilda, Victoria, Moonplant, Rebecca, Tortilla, Serena, Rosie Jane, Elizabeth, Celeste, hello. Oh, when does it start? In about six minutes, it's supposed to start. I think they normally start on time. I mean, it's just like a scheduled stream, so it should start on time. I don't even know what even is a Nintendo Direct. So it's basically just Nintendo. Let me tilt this down some. I don't like that. Okay. It's basically just Nintendo showcasing what they have coming, like what there is to look forward to. A lot of people were saying that there's supposed to be Animal Crossing stuff in this. I don't foresee that happening. I'm hoping for some... Breath of the Wild 2, or whatever they're gonna call the sequel to Breath of the Wild. I want to see something from that. Other than that, I don't know if there's anything. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna be like the best reaction or whatever, but I figured we could all hang out. And yeah, I'm not that person that like knows everything about every franchise that there is. So uh, I know I've watched people do this before and you know, one thing will flash on the screen and all of a sudden they know what game it is. So if you're looking for that, that's not how I'm gonna be because I normally can't figure out what it is until it says what it is. So if anything, they'll just talk briefly about the Mario item since it's a crossover. That's what I'm, I don't know if I'll be more upset if they do that or if they show nothing. Wait, why is my, Something's off, hang on. Cam border, there we go. Okay, fixed it. Would I stream Breath of the Wild if that came out? If the sequel came out, I would definitely stream it. I love Breath of the Wild so much. Hey KB, hey Jacinia. Hey Jordan, I can't remember if I said hey to you. Hey Dallas, it's a spud viewing party. It is, it is. And hey, Justin, I saw you commenting. Yes, 4 p.m. stream. Here we are. What else? Is there anything else that you guys are expecting or that you want to see? I don't know. I hope there's a cool Smash character added. See, unpopular opinion. I do not like Super Smash Brothers. I think, what? I messed up something else. Hang on. Um... There we go, okay. I do not like Super Smash Brothers, and I don't know if I just don't like it because it's a fighting game, or if I don't like it because I'm not good at it, but I don't. Hey, Kills Crossings. Hey, Coconuts, Yv Yvonne, hello. Hey, Becky. Hey, Jessica. I predict another Fire Emblem character for Smash, even though I don't care about Smash at all, yeah. 
Isn't Smash the game I just had to buy you and you never played? I played it a few times. But you don't you don't know if you're gonna like something until you get it. And I really liked it as a kid. So once it starts, you guys let me know how the sound is. Once it starts, I'm gonna turn off the music that we normally have playing and we'll get the sound. I may have to turn it up louder than I normally have my music. So you guys just let me know because I don't know how much, like I'm sure I'll be talking, but I don't know. I want you guys to be able to hear it. Hey V, welcome in. Hey Basil Crossing, Smash Brothers okay. I can't really rate it because I never played the current one. I just, I, I'm really bad at it. Hey Claire, hey Leanna. Super Smash for the 64 was much better than for the Switch. I just, I wonder, I didn't know if maybe because I was a kid, I didn't care that I wasn't good at it. And now as an adult, I care. Um, so yeah, okay, I'm gonna have this up maybe. How was work? Oh, just fantastic. Hey, Shannon, how are you? Welcome in. You guys say hey to Shannon, QB Crossing. I don't know if I'm saying that name right. <laughs> um, Shannon is amazing. She streams on Twitch and she has a YouTube channel. If you're not following her, go follow her. She does amazing stuff. Hey, Charlie, welcome in. But I played Tamadachi Life. I don't even think I know what that is. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the music. It has me kind of stressed out that I'm not gonna do it in time. Oh, here we go. I think it's, I just messed up everything. Hang on. All right. You guys let me know if you can hear. I'm gonna turn it up. I just want internet, yes. I'm ner why am I nervous? I'm like nervous. Yeah, <laughs> Shannon, me too. Yeah, like am I supposed to know who these people are? Can you guys hear it okay? Okay, perfect. Please be something good. I know. Hey, Emily, how are you? I don't know if I need to turn up my volume. I don't really hear anything. Oh, there we go. Okay. Could be louder. It's as if she vanished off the face of all rest. Without trace where have you gone i'll find you whatever it takes this is where you were yeah, what is this? sorry rex i couldn't tell you because I got an invitation to join Smash! Oh. Uh -huh. I just don't understand the hype. Oh, I thought I was gonna this. be in Smash! Just sit back and leave it to me, Rex. Who, is, who are these people? Behold the power of the Aegis! Oh, Xenoblade. Smash Flare! You powered up your Smash attack with fire? Oh, look at Squirtle, though. Genius! You're pretty much owning them, and these are seasoned fighters. They're no pushovers. I wish pushovers. I could be excited about this. I wish I could. Oh, these people are fine. I don't know. I don't Talk know about a tight are. spot, Mithra. Let me handle this. Mm. 
I never played the other way. There are so many games. Wait, is that another person? Cutting it close, huh? There are so many games like um, Xenoblade and stuff like that that I feel like I would really enjoy. But RPGs are so time consuming. I don't have time for that. Um, Tranquility, they're just showing off the new characters they're adding in Smash. Xenoblade is just like an RPG. I think. Serious fight. I guess she switches. Together, nothing can stand our way. Quite the spectacle, aren't they? Wait, grumps? Oh, I missed this. Why does that remind me of? Oh my gosh, what was that movie? Oh my gosh, I'm so blanking on that movie. I used to watch it all the time as a kid. You're all mine. I'll lend you a hand. The never ending story. Do you guys ever watch that? Sure That's did. what that reminds me. Yes, Brittany. Yes, Brittany. Sure. <laughs> I never expected to see you two again. Well, now that you're in Smash, I won't go easy on you. I just feel like this is so much dedicated to this that it's. We're fighters too! Like, I, I, guess, I guess I don't get it. And I'm happy for people that enjoy it. Um. And maybe that's like someone's favorite character. Nothar. Hello everyone. It's been a while. I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. Last year, we delivered some news through a series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. No, you haven't. I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. We appreciate your continued support. It has been so long since okay. they had a direct. What you just saw was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game, Pyra and Mithra. They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicles series as Rex's two-in-one ally. Please look no, forward Gabby, to I'm seeing not. their moveset in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Go after this. this fighter releases in March, so we hope you'll stay tuned just a bit longer. All right, let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Ooh, I'm nervous. Oh, wait, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, I like this. I like this. Guys, if they could just improve the multiplayer of Fall Guys. Is it cosplay? Please be cosplay. Yes. Let's do some Fall Guys stream. Stumble toward greatness when Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch system summer 2021. Summer. Okay, by summer, you guys need to figure out your multiplayer and your cosplay. You have 22 minutes before the solar system is destroyed. Venture into the vast reaches of space to uncover the secrets left behind by an ancient civilization. You have 22 minutes. After <laughs> that, the sun will bit. explode I and the solar system game. will be it's annihilated. Just, they have so much to work on on their multiplayer. However, that's what everything makes it will difficult. reset, allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gathered. What is this? By repeating these cycles, you'll gradually unravel the mysteries hidden in the universe. Looks kind of boring. What messages will you discover? How can you prevent the sun from exploding? Why is the solar system trapped in an endless time? Does it really argue? Find out when the critically acclaimed Outer Wilds launches on oh, Nintendo I do like Switch that logo, summer 2021. That's 
put your sleuthing skills to the test in two classic murder mystery games. Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Heir, and Famicom Detective yes, Club, The Girl Emily. Who Stands yeah. Behind. Oh, that'll two be so deep fun. cuts from Nintendo history are coming to North America for the first time. Localized in English and modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. Famicom Suspense, Detective drama, Club. and twists and turns await at every corner. You'll be on the edge of your seat as you dive into these deep narratives set in Japan. In one game, you'll solve a complex murder case surrounding a wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. I actually kind of like games like this. But that's this. not the only case to crack. But they're not good to stream. Because it's just so much... Anything with like too much dialogue is not the best. In the other game, you'll investigate a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister nightmare. Interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece <laughs> together true. these chilling That's conundrums. True, Teresa. That's true. Can you figure out who the culprit is before it's too late? I am, Bowtie. How are you? Surgery game of the week. It reminds me of like Ace Uncover Attorney, the deadly truth in Famicom Mixed Detective with, Club The Missing um, Air and Famicom Detective Club The oh Girl gosh, Who Stands Behind. Coming to called? Nintendo Switch May 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. A new age of battles begins. I don't like how they do that with that guy's voice and then they do the cutscenes. It's so stale at this point to me. Like, can we come up with something different as far as your presentation goes? Because I don't like that. <laughs> Like, we just don't need all these. It's just too much. We don't need it. Just go to the next game. We got it. What are we gonna do if we don't mention it? Animal Crossing? I won't be shocked. The latest entry in the Samurai Warriors franchise is coming to Nintendo Switch. Dive into the history of the Sengoku period as the series now shines the spotlight on Nobunaga Oda and Mitsuhide Akechi. Character designs and visuals have been revamped for this installment. Unleash high octane moves in electrifying voice. 1 versus 1000 battles. Maybe it's just because we've been doing it so long. In Samurai it just Warriors seem... 5, slashing its way onto Nintendo it Switch fresh Summer anymore. 2021. vast world of Fadiel beckons. After 20 long years, Legend of Mana oh, featuring remastered HD graphics is coming to Nintendo Switch. You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical yeah, mana Maisie, tree seen in a dream. Yeah, I'm happy about that too. This Before discovering the world map is empty. During your travels, you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Yes, Pat. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. It's up to you on when and where to place artifacts, as well as how to advance the story. Join forces with characters, each on their own personal quests. Square off against fearsome monsters. Or take a break from adventure and rest up at this home. This reminds me of a game I used to play as a kid, too. The music has been rearranged for this enhanced version, and you can alternate between the new arrangement and the original it soundtrack. Was on the Super Nintendo. Other features have been added, including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, <laughs> as well as the new minigame, Ring Ring Land. Legend of Mana will launch <laughs> Robin, on Nintendo though, Switch this is June 24th. Just, this is like all Nintendo, not Animal Crossing related. I mean, it could have something Animal Crossing, but maybe not. Uh, Jack, sometimes. But at this point, I feel like it's a little bit overdone. Oh, 
Um, it'll be a mixture, Robin. It's just kind of like what's coming this year. Elder, I have important news. So it's finally beginning. Go assemble the villagers. All right, Bowtie. Fifty years ago, Kamura Village was attacked by the Rampage and Magnum Malo. And we suffered some devastating casualties. How can we fight against that? Our hunter's about to face Bro, the I'll be streaming on Friday morning. 10.30 Central Standard. No! We can't lose this game! Oh, that's a pretty... Um, Pull yourselves together! Monster. Get up! Get in here! What is that? The English one? Let's go, everyone! Go rampage somewhere else! Uh, you listen to me now! So much of this Watch out for the of fighting that I can't not let it pass. Like for some, the, the combat in Breath of the Wild, How I like. How long do you think it's going to last? But I feel like it's not solely focused on that. So games focused on that, I don't really love as much. Inoa, we should start preparations right away. We're here to offer assistance. It almost just depends on how in-depth the upgrading the system calamity. is as far as like your character goes. If there's a lot to do with that, I enjoy it because especially if there's a bunch of customizations that you can have. Um, but I like those games where you can pick like if you want to be a hunter. That or was a, the latest trailer for Monster Hunter Rise from Capcom. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. How will our heroes fare against these ferocious monsters? Stay tuned for the latest installment in the Monster Hunter series, yeah, launching Victoria, March like 26. What if they had Sims on the Switch? That would be fun. Next, please take a look at this. I do, Selma. Yeah, I do. Oh, the fairway is a lot open of people wanted once this, again. Right? Tee off in the latest installment of the Mario Golf series, coming to Nintendo Switch. Study the wind Didn't and terrain. Want Mario Golf Take and your Mario time to think strikers. things through. Then swing. Enjoy I'm golfing so with familiar Mushroom kind of Kingdom games. characters on courses filled with lush natural scenery. I'd be, I'll be curious what the multiplayer's like, though. Use features on the greens, play this like friends. a shot gauge, to see how your shot will curve due to slopes, and a scan that lets you examine a course's terrain. These features can help you ace your shots. In addition to button controls, you can also use motion controls by holding a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. Gently swing the controller to have your character swing in the game, letting you, like you easily enjoy talk? the sensation of golfing. Can you imagine me and Todd on stream? On top of all that, there are golfing. several <laughs> modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf including this one speed golf here like it's always golf your either. turn oh, okay. everyone tees off at the same time then you'll race through the course to reach your ball speed give it another golf. whack That's to fun. get it closer to the hole then keep going outpace your opponents to come out on top your golfing skills aren't the only things at play make Please use of that. dashes and special shots to beat the competition oh did we mention story mode? As a me character, you'll start out as a rookie and develop your golfing skills mode? while interacting with various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Level up with experience points earned during matches. Then allocate points to when different stats, thing, yeah. allowing you to develop your character however you'd like. You can also use your me in versus play. Put your golfing skills okay. to the test when Mario Golf Super it. Rush swings I mean, onto Nintendo Switch June 25th. Pre-orders begin on awful, Nintendo yeah. eShop after this Not presentation. The latest game in the Mario Golf series adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes, as well as the familiar like golf they, gameplay uh, with easy-to-learn controls. Uh, golf Story? Did you guys play that? Please look forward to this game on Nintendo Switch. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Check out these games coming to Nintendo Switch. Return to the unforgiving world of Pandora in Tales from the Borderlands. Play as the Hyperion lackey, Reese, and the quick-witted con artist, Fiona, as you set out to like recover a mountain of cash. Style. 
Set between Borderlands like 2 and 3, art, this game includes all five episodes, filled with like classic Borderlands humor. That makes any sense. Gangsters, bandit lords, and vault hunters are just a handful of the obstacles you'll encounter in this choice-driven narrative adventure. Embark on a wild ride when Tales from the Borderlands Not launches today, on Samantha. Nintendo Switch no, I March 24th. Doing that again until Friday. This is just 32 kind of, like, of Capcom's bonus. most beloved arcade classics are coming to Nintendo Switch. Rewind gameplay, adjust game speed or difficulty, and select from a variety of display options to relive that sweet arcade goodness. Get 1943 The Battle of Midway for free, then purchase game packs or the standalone Ghosts and Goblins add on to build your collection. Local co op play is also available. Scratch that nostalgic really itch when like Capcom Arcade Stadium launches arcade later today. The only one? Brains! As a zombie, you just can't get enough of it. In this action game from Aspire, you'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on the city by turning humans so into your undead allies. Replenish your bodily one. arsenal of sputum head, gut grenades, and more really during your grisly mission. Better. This city ain't no match for a dead man. Stubbs the zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse eats its way onto Nintendo Switch March 16th. Pre-orders begin yeah, today on Nintendo eShop. <laughs> It's Travis Touchdown versus Assassins. Wait, aliens? Aliens have invaded Earth. Hold up, is this even the right game? Anyway, after annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero ranking tournament to decide yeah. Earth's fate. Here we go. As the crass, beam katana wielding assassin Travis Touchdown, you'll need to fight your way to the top to save the world. What's wrong? Hey, 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 not so fast. To enter each boss fight, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn yeah, enough to pay off the entry fee. You'll then face off against a slew of unusual opponents. Most of them aliens with some crazy tricks up their sleeves. Study their tactics carefully to gain the upper hand in combat. With a new and improved death glove, you'll have access to a variety of There's deadly skills that can be customized left, and upgraded before each match. The fate of the world is at stake, so get ready to kick some, uh... Whatever aliens have that you can I kick. I've been watching her for anyway, minutes. Anyway, it all makes sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. There's still 30 or, minutes left. You know, it's a 50 minute Nintendo direct. Switch, August 27th. Exterminate demons in he heaven. I mean, I don't think there will be, but. So below. Why do they need assassins in heaven? <laughs> To do someone's dirty work. What is what's even happening? It's kill or be killed. You won't last long if you can't rely on yourself. God's judgment has nothing to do with it. Yeah, that's a no for me. Uncover Heaven's Mysteries in Neon White, coming to Nintendo Switch Winter 2021. The DC Superhero Girls are here to save the day. Hi, everyone. My name is Barbara Gordon. AKA Batgirl. I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight crime, like my batarangs and. This looks like something that my son would this watch. This is Supergirl. She's super strong and has heat vision, plus super breath. And let's not forget Wonder Woman, an Amazonian warrior who wields the lasso of truth. Along with our friends Green Lantern, Bumblebee, and Zatanna, we fight evil supervillains to keep our city safe. But we're not just about no, the super thank light. You. We also have our school lives, and trust me, there's never a dull moment at Metropolis High School. Sometimes it'd be nice to get out of class and do some shopping downtown oh, is with this my an art? Is this a series? Ooh, what is this? Some photos to share on Superstar Post while we're at it. It's hey, like a kids show I got or a something. Comment already. Nice. Ooh, and I definitely want to hit up Sweet Justice later. Uh-oh, something really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming, but when justice calls, you can count on us to answer no matter what. 
We just gotta make sure no one figures out our secret identities. DC Superhero Girls Teen Power heroically sourced onto Nintendo Switch June 4th. Okay, so so far I want Fall Guys, Mario Ready Golf. to juice cannons and prepare for battle. It is like PJ Masks. This looks kind of cute. Okay, okay, I do like Plants vs. Zombies. Is the audio still okay, by the way? Todd was saying it was too loud. Wait, is this what Plants vs. Zombies is now? I thought it was just like a little... needs to turn his hearing aids down. This is like Fortnite with plants. The original Plants vs. Zombies was like a, a totally different style can. game, so I don't know how I feel about that. Band together on a quest to face evil and save faces. Miitopia is coming to Nintendo Switch. I've heard good things Cast about this game, actually. Wasn't this on... The Wii or the DS or something, people and people allies, love this. Or even make someone the nefarious Dark Lord. If you can play this online with friends, added as a new feature in this game. I can Clam see us having a lot of fun with this. get them ready for adventure. There's also a new wig feature, letting you go wild with your me creations and make them even more How fabulous. How cute! In the world of Miitopia, relationships are key. So consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen bonds. This can give you an advantage during battle. If your relationship's sour, though, things might take a turn for the worse. Oh no! Okay, this looks Whoa. cute. You can have a horse as an ally? That sounds pretty barn good! Yeah, Milky, that's Gather what I was thinking. It, and it'll lend a hand, or poof, in battle. Adventure with friends and familiar faces in the lighthearted romp Metopia. Coming to Nintendo Switch okay, May 21st. I'll play that. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Familiar items like the Super Mushroom and the Question Block can be ordered in game as furniture items. So place them however and wherever you'd like. I mean, that's kind of cool. You can also cool. place two warp pipes. Oh, cute! Then use them to travel between locations on that your island. That is cool. Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? Okay. A free update for the game launches February 25th. After downloading it, Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping I starting mean, March 1st. Imagine an entire like Nintendo. Keep an eye on the official Animal Crossing Twitter account for the latest island. information. People are gonna make some cool stuff. We hope you continue enjoying life on your island. Is that it? How was that? These collaboration items <laughs> will be released as mushroom. part of the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary events. Please wait a bit longer for their release. Speaking of which, last week, we had the global launch for the Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury game. We hope you enjoyed that Mario adventure I as like well. it for what it is. Next, the Mario stuff. we have another game to show you. But they have to do more than that. They just have to. Yeah, that's probably it. 
think it said February 25th. He leaves us no recourse. Swords. Never. S. Frost will answer for oh, his crimes today. Oh, is this Octopath today. Traveler? Are these the wages of loyalty? Raised Earth and burnt corpses. You and no other must decide how we proceed. I'm not even sad about it because I knew we weren't gonna get it. You are a leader and must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. Together with these fields, today you burn. I disagree, I Teresa. I think they're gonna lose a lot of players in March if they don't do us. an update. Far, far away lies the continent of Norzilia, comprised of three nations and limited deposits of salt and iron. The constant feuds among the nations it over is these totally precious resources transitions eventually you're ignited right. into a great conflict known as the Salt Iron War. Though the hostilities oh, ceased with an power. I hope you're doing okay. Decades later, the flames of war threatened to engulf the realm once again. You are all that remain. Caught in a tangled, fiery web of plots and conspiracies, a brave group from Glenbrook fights to save their kingdom from the powers that would orchestrate their downfall. Our benefit, you say? <laughs> in this new tactical RPG, battles take place on terrain with different elevations. A character's attack range is determined by their location and their equipped weapon. The range can be extended by attacking from it higher didn't, ground it with didn't long range big, weapons, yeah. such as bows and arrows. Thus, your forces can use the terrain and other elements to gain the upper hand. Yeah, Melissa, this is my teddy An bear. An enemy outflanked is susceptible not um, only to your initial comfy. attack, but also a powerful blow from the ally positioned behind the enemy. What have we here? charge into an enemy to send them flying into position for a follow-up attack we win link I agree, attacks Jordan. together by first casting ice magic on the flames to create water terrain then electrify the area with lightning magic annoying app cell phone game yeah this isn't it my is my thing of the utmost importance to survey the battlefield before taking action i just don't think um throughout the story you claim faced with making the events are updated variety of situations is a cop-out for me Utility, i don't think those are updates morality, just because liberty. you withheld holidays doesn't make it an update will establish your conviction affecting how the story unfolds and who will join your cause once more i would ask you plainly do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations. And based on how much effort and time of conviction, they put into Use New Leaf and updates for New Leaf, to sway I can definitely see them doing cause. more. The story for New will significantly change based on how the votes are cast. So they refuse to relinquish. Nintendo doesn't to us. get our style. That's Lies. true. His hand was forced. As more and more critical decisions are hey, made, Star Lona, your how journey are you? may take you down paths divergent from those of other players. You will see what true might is. Project Triangle Strategy, a brand new tactical RPG. The only update was diving, and that's already something that in existed in New Leaf, so that's Please not even really an update. Please be on the lookout for more update. information in the future. That's like, like I'm saying, withholding things that you've had in previous game games will be available to download on Nintendo to release e later the doesn't future, make them we'll update. Conduct a survey to gather player feedback. We look forward to hearing your responses on the demo. Hey, Honey Crossing. Please look forward to future updates. That's what I'm hopeful for, Jillian, is that RPG now all the holidays have happened. Okay, so let's now see a few more we'll Nintendo more Switch stuff. headlines. Calling all hunters. Do you have what it takes? No, we don't. Well, meh. 
Star Wars Hunters is a competitive, free-to-play online game set between Episodes 6 and 7. Clash in this third-person shooter coming to Nintendo Switch in 2021. You loved Octopath? I tried it, but... Do I look at you or the camera? Knockout City interviews, take one. We all play for different reasons. Hmm. Gorgon love battle. Gorgon use many weapons. Wait, who are Triple these people? Triple-bladed war axe, spear of misery, Hades soul devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for a hero. No, Bean, they just work. showed off Bullets the Mario item. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. Just once. Which were cool. Just They're cool for Mario items, but bullets. you know, with is this Fortnite? With what is this, this? Crown, I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass. <laughs> Look, it's simple. Gorgon want new weapon. In Knockout City, I'm like a kung fu master. I can catch bullets. Definitely not Fortnite. Let's find out what sound your face makes. It's like Warcraft. Yeah, that guy kind of does that. This looks like a weird Fortnite knockoff mixed with a bunch of other games. Farmers. Okay, team. They may have won the battle, but not the war. Uh, uh, hey, can we redesign our characters? You're not a team if you're not wearing a uniform. Max, this is a war zone, not a bloody fashion show. Pass to me. Yeah, no, that's what I'm thinking too. Uh, what? If it's not, oh, come on, man, one more day. It's not Zelda at the end. I don't know. As the one more thing. The fight for survival starts now. Hang on tight, cause you're all going to play a little game of fate for me. From the creators of the Danganronpa and Zero Escape series comes a fight for your life. Oh, I've heard Literally, good things about Danganronpa. Disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park. The 12 of you, known as the Go-Gators Club, must now survive this game of fate at all costs. I don't wanna die yet! It does, so Rebecca, it does. The game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side-scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. I'm the one behind the whole game of fate. As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group I mean, to this overcome looks like a cute challenges game, but... and monsters that stand in your way. What awaits you all at the end of your journey? The battle for survival begins in World's End Club. Venturing onto Nintendo is it no Switch. Key? I feel like May I might 28th. have it for my Vita and I just never played it. Wield the powers of Olympus. I never got to play Persona 4 of Golden as much as I wanted to either. Hades, I really like the critically acclaimed of dungeon it, but... crawler and recipient of multiple Game of the Year awards. He does, is getting Rachel. a physical release on Nintendo Switch. This version comes with a couple of extras to assist oh. you on your journey out of the underworld. Here you the go. The first is a PC oh. download code for the Hades original Argo, soundtrack. Emily. It's packed with two and a half hours of blood pumping music composed by Darren Korb, known for his work on previous Super Giant I'm not at all like interested in this game. I don't the understand. The second is a 32 page full color character compendium I don't understand. featuring portraits of the game's vibrant it makes cast me of gods, sick. watching ghosts, it, and monsters. Games all like by this Super when so much is happening Gen at Z. once. And let's not forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action paired with a compelling story. Escape the underworld again or for the first time with the physical version of Hades on March 19th. Three deadly action games, one masterful collection. Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, and Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge are coming to Nintendo Switch as the action-packed Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. You are the legendary ninja Ryu Hayabusa, fighting against a great evil with battle skills that are second to none. 
wield an arsenal of killer weapons, each offering a playstyle with different set of yeah, lethal skills, along cute. with ruthless ninjutsu to swiftly take down enemies. Quickly gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos. And team up with other super ninjas in your quest to fulfill your destiny. All previous downloadable content, including costumes and game modes, are included. Revel in the intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden Master no, Collection. No, Emily, I wish. I just Nintendo got reminded Switch, of it because Summer of the, the other game. I wish it was. I have it on my Vita. More battles are coming to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. I, I didn't play this. Should I? Do I have to play this to play Breath of the Wild, the next Breath of the Wild game? even more coming to Nintendo Switch. Bravely Default 2 is almost here. Four Heroes of Light will soon embark on a journey to restore the crystals. Use the job system to develop your characters and master the Brave and Default commands to emerge victorious in turn-based battles. Cute. Veterans like, and newcomers to the I series like can enjoy this brand like this. new story on February 26th. They're just 26th. too time-consuming, though. A new trailer for Bravely Default 2 will be revealed following this presentation. The game can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. An updated demo is also available. The latest installment in the legendary Ghosts and Goblins series comes to life. As the brave knight Arthur, you'll unleash weapons, spells, and skills to battle monsters across games challenging like stages like within the demon realm. How many games like this Local can there be? Local co-op play is also available for the first time. Help Arthur in his quest with one of three supporting characters: Barry for defense, Carrie for transportation, or Archie for bridges. You know, like how many Ghosts and Goblins scrolling? Resurrection launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo. What eShop. do they call these, like Metroidvania games? Is that what they're? Is that the t style of game? How Eight many protagonists. Can Eight captivating journeys. Saga Frontier has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel through a stunning sci-fi world with any of the protagonists, each with their own stories. With the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, new gameplay features, skill rating battles, and what? a new scenario for the protagonist Acellus, Saga Frontier Remastered is an adventure not to be missed. The game launches April 15th. Apex Legends is storming onto the Nintendo Switch system. This free-to-play battle royale features a growing roster of powerful contenders named Legends, strategic combat, cross-platform play, oh, this and is more. The one that all players on Nintendo Switch can get an all-new Legendary a bunch Pathfinder of people play this, right, Todd? and 30 free levels for the Season 8 Mayhem Battle Pass. Plus, for the first two weeks after launch, earn double XP when you play on Nintendo Switch. I haven't played Fight Castle Crashers fame in life. and glory when Apex Legends enters the fray March 9th. How's it going so far? There's still a little bit more to show you in today's Nintendo Direct, so we hope you'll stick with right, us. Right, we gotta have something Next, good. There's gotta be something good. Let's take a look good. at this. Canada was into it? Okay. Hello there. Like I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend oh. of Zelda series. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. We apologize. Development is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. For now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. Why While even you're all show waiting, your face however, then? This Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. We probably don't care. Like, oh, we know you wanted this, but sorry. We don't get it.
Skyward Sword. Okay, I've never played Skyward Sword. I would be interested in playing it. What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console, and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. That's true, the Sherry, that's true. In your right hand is How the are you, by the way, Sherry? Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. I'm not that great at motion You can perform stuff. other actions, like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. I'm glad a bunch These of you guys are happy about this. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. After mulling That's over how I to do. assign different gameplay elements button to different person. buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. I don't know, swing that to seems the right, difficult. to the left, or diagonally. Just tilt the stick in the respective yeah, direction. Yeah, Tranquility Stardew is on Switch. Here's something else we've been working on. Specially designed Joy-Con controllers. The right Joy-Con controller is themed after the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian Shield motif. Oh, that's pretty cool. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, as the game depicting the earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline, details the events around the creation of the Master Sword itself. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii, and those playing it for the first time, will enjoy discovering the origins of The Legend of Zelda. I mean, that's Legend cool. of Zelda Skyward Sword HD launches July 16th. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. And the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines hey, or ram, even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear, I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. Am I the only one that hates? I hate swimming in any Please game. Please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Well, what did you think? The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive motion controls and button controls by I mean, tilting cool the right that they control brought it over. Stick. Okay, the next game will be our last announcement for today. Please take a look at this. The last one and then you'll have another one after that or actually the last one. It doesn't look like Animal Crossing. Platoon. Wait, is it really time for a new Splatoon game already? Has it been that long? Oh, a little buddy. I want a little. Oh, I want to customize a little buddy. I do really like Splatoon, you guys. Look at, oh my gosh, I want that little guy. He's so cute. I want a Nintendo dogs, me too.
this looks so cute. That fish is literally me. This guy right here, that's me. I would love, yeah, I'll definitely stream it. <laughs> Little buddy gives me life. This looks really good. Victoria, you basically try to cover up the entire map. That looks really good. What you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, Splatoon 3. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll be a while. We hope you'll stay tuned for more information at a later time. Not done Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. A variety of games are in development. And we look forward to sharing more news with you in the future. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Not just one more thing? Aw. It's kind of sad. Okay. It's over. What did you guys think? I am excited about several things, actually. I'm excited about Splatoon, obviously, Mario, Fall Guys. Um, what else? Uh, maybe the, Zel the Zelda game, Skyward Sword. I'm excited that they did it. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. To be honest, overall, disappointed. Oh no. Surprise, happy they showed Animal Crossing. Yeah, I'm not shocked that they didn't show more than what they did. Um, I'll be curious to see what the next Animal Crossing update trailer is. Are you going to be playing any Animal Crossing? Not tonight. I'm about to. We're going to go eat dinner. Um, we're going to have some spaghetti. And then um, i got to work on some videos tonight. Overall, I'm not completely disappointed. I didn't have high expectations, so honestly, I feel like they exceeded them for the most part. Like, I wasn't expecting Fall Guys. I don't know why. That just never crossed my mind. And I really wasn't expecting another Splatoon game this soon, but I guess it hasn't... It. I mean, that game released when the Switch released, right? Or very early on. So, um, yeah. Well, I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. This was fun. Hopefully we'll get to do this the next time. Maybe, I don't know if they're going to wait like a year like they did for the next direct. Um, but I had fun. I am going to have a video coming out tomorrow. And then I'll be streaming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I am going to go and watch the toddler now, but I will see you guys very soon.